Corn sweat sucks, but it's also awesome. The Midwest is mainly small town USA with a bunch of mid-sized cities dotted throughout, but most of it is mostly corn. In fact, 90 million acres of land are covered by it, and here's what it would look like if you tried to push all that together into one square. Here in Ohio, most of the corn is located out west, but there's still a decent amount dotting the hills of Appalachia. But corn contributes heavily to the heat and mugginess we feel in July and August, and the process by which it happens is awesome. Evapotranspiration, a fancy word describing the process by which water is transferred to the atmosphere from the surface. Because corn is one of the largest crops in the U.S., it has the potential to evaporate the most water from the soil. Water gets absorbed by the roots and evaporates through stomata, small openings on the plant leaf through which gases and water vapor may pass. Only a small fraction of water absorbed by the roots is used by the plant itself. And by early August, corn has the effect of billions and billions of tiny straws sucking up water from the ground and releasing it into the planetary boundary layer. The combined heat and humidity can make afternoons unbearable, unless you live in Miami and are used to that year-round. Iowa is one of the hardest hit areas, with corn pumping 50 billion gallons of water into the atmosphere a day, while increasing the dew point 5 to 10 degrees. So, what does that feel like exactly? Well, meteorologists created the heat index as an accurate representation of how hot it feels rather than how hot it actually gets. And the equation looks like this mess. It's extremely fine-tuned, hence all the terms, but it's a lot easier to visualize using this chart. So on a 90 degree day with 80% relative humidity, it feels like 113 degrees. But if we eliminate corn sweat while keeping all other conditions the same, the heat index drops to a mere 97 degrees. And 97 is still pretty bad, but it's not nearly as bad as 113. So should we burn all of the corn? Well, honestly, it doesn't matter because the corn itself is insignificant. Any heavily irrigated crop like corn, wheat, or soybean can cause an uptick in moisture. And honestly, it doesn't really matter because it tastes good. Thank you guys for the support on my weather videos. I'm trying to do one weather video a week since it is my major in college and it's very difficult to travel to abandoned places right now due to the current pandemic. I'll be back next week. Peace.